Hey friends, welcome to Tori Talks TV and welcome to our fabulous review of This Is Us Season 3, Episode 18, The Finale. Good oh. finale too. Way to step it up. Way to go out on a high note. Uh, the name of this episode is called Her. Simple. Uh, simple. Short and sweet. Yes. But huge. Huge. Yes. Okay. So this episode starts off with a flashback. Mm -hmm. There's lots of them, obviously. But there's also flash forwards now, so yeah. it's getting real fun. It is. Yeah. So the flashback is of Rebecca's car crash. That's a pretty bad one. She was down there way too long. That was stupid. I was like, Seriously? Oh no, the peaches spilled. Let me get Let them. The peaches really? go. What's going to happen to the peaches? That was way too long yeah. to be reaching for fallen fruit. Yeah, for real. So... You know, okay. she got in the accident and she was pretty, uh, you know, battered yeah. by it. So she's in the hospital and uh, Jack goes and visits her. And then he's like basically left to take care of the kids. I was like, excuse me. What the heck? I saw that. <laughs> anyway, we got someone else with us. Anyway, so he's, uh, there's a really funny scene where he's making uh, food for the kids and he makes them uh, corn sandwiches. Literally just how it sounds. Corn on bread. Like a little roll and yeah. then corn. And it just falls out when they pick it up. Do you up. think it tastes like cornbread? Oh. Probably not. Probably not. No. I doesn't was, look appetizing yeah. to me. But he said that's what they used to eat. So anyway, then he decides that he's going to take the kids to go visit Rebecca. Mm -hmm. Probably not a good choice. Because the kids get there and they're like totally freaked out yeah. by her. Because I'm sure it's the whole like, oh, that's my mom and she's does everything and she's, you know, tough and da da da. And now she's just like helpless laying yeah. in the bed. Don't you think that's why they I were scared so by it? Well, they didn't like really, they've never been without her before, right? Right. And they exactly. expect her to be like that superwoman. Mom yeah. Type. Yeah, exactly. And Randall made like a little joke about like her having brain damage and they were like, no, that's not funny. Oh, like right yeah. in the beginning, the first time in the hospital. That's right. Mm -hmm. But they were like, "That's not funny." Or yeah, I'm just, well, it's not funny. Just laughed it off. Yeah, but I think it, I don't even know where that came from. It's just kind of a comment. Yeah. yeah. He's very worried. Well, anyway, so then uh, Jack, baby Jack, <laughs> we finally get to see they're gonna like uh, take the tube out, and he's gonna try to breathe on his own. So everybody's like <gasps> holding their breath, waiting, and. He was able to breathe on his own, yeah. but, right, but it's still, like, it's mm -hmm. a little touchy. Yeah. So the nurse is, like, explaining to them, like, you know, this is what you need to do. If you think he's not breathing, you need to tap his little foot. Oh gosh, yeah, so and good. Rebecca is there, you know, Kate's mom, mm -hmm. and she's asking a lot of questions. Yes. They're good questions, they might very I add. Good. And she's taking notes, too. Yeah, very good. We want, she wants to, like, make sure that she gets everything. Right, but you yeah. can see Kate's, like, super annoyed. Yeah. Or like, okay, mom, like, let me do this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's my kid. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so she just seems a little overbearing, but I think very helpful. Yes. I, I will mm -hmm. add that. Yes. Yeah. So, anyway, there's a, a moment where the breathing, something happens with the breathing, mm -hmm. and Kate, instead of doing what the doctor said, which is to tap the foot, she panics and asks for the nurse. Mm -hmm. And, you know, good old Rebecca goes over there and taps the foot. Yeah. And the baby's fine. It was fine. Yeah. And so, then Kate felt, like, kind of insecure about that because she kind of didn't feel like she had the motherly instincts that her mom has. Yeah. But at the same time, she was also mad at her mom for, like, yeah. jumping in. It's a very complicated little it was situation. complicated because I kind of did understand Kate, but I I was more on Rebecca's side. I was yeah. like, she just, you know, I wouldn't even be like, I understand you panicked, honey. Yeah. I got this. Yeah. It's okay. It's she, okay. That's what she's there for. Yeah. To help. Totally. Yeah. So anyway, uh, back to Randall and Beth, because that's been like a bit of a roller coaster. So yeah. we see Randall is staying in his office. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's yes. just hanging out there. He's in trouble. He's in the doghouse a little bit. <laughs> so then he like, you know, finally comes back and it's a little tense between him mm -hmm. and Beth. Mm -hmm. I think the kids are starting to notice. Yes, they are. Perhaps. At least the older ones. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Um... So, yeah, then we are uh, Kevin and Zoe. Let's go to oh, Kevin yes, and Zoe. Yes. Because they do end up, like, helping. They watch the girls because, you know, Randall and Beth have those crazy busy schedules. Mm -hmm. So then they recruit uh, Kevin and Zoe to watch the kids. Yes. Um, so there was a really sweet, touching moment when Kevin's talking to Tess. and Because Tess that. had just recently mm -hmm. come out. And she's talking about, like, her struggles about after coming out. She's like, what do I wear? And, like, what do I do? How do I act? And, like, you know, 
she's just trying to figure out what do I do now that I came out, which you don't have to yeah. do anything, but. Yeah, but she, like, thought the hardest part, I like how she was like, I thought the hardest part was going to be coming out. Yeah. But, like, now I don't know anything. Like, how am I supposed to be? Right. Her whole identity is, like, in crisis. And, you know, I think that's things, it's, it's a learning moment for us, um, that you don't realize that that's the other struggle yeah. to coming out. You it's just not... have one, we just hear about one story, but really one it's just part like of the it. beginning of the story. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's a good yeah, point. yeah, right. I never realized that yeah. they had to go through that. So um, another moment is when okay, because remember now we know that Zoe and Kevin not gonna have kids. Mm -hmm. Kevin's totally fine. He says he's totally totally fine. okay. <laughs> he says he's totally cool with it because he right. loves Zoe. He chooses whatever Zoe. she wants. Right. Yeah. So he walks in on Zoe talking to the littlest. And uh, they're, just having, they're just, I don't know, hanging out, and she's so cute with her. Yeah. And Kevin's, like, looking and, like, admiring them. He's like, oh, maybe one day. Come on, Kevin. Yeah. Anyway, so there's that. Um, and then let's talk about the other Pearson kid, Randall's kid, is uh, Deja. Deja. Oh, so this is interesting. Yes. Mm -hmm. So he's, like, supposed to be taking her to, like, this debate. Yeah, because all of a sudden she's joined debate, and um, he says he, she needs the ride to wherever they do their debate. Right. Yeah. Whatever. Maybe it's just probably a school or something. Mm -hmm. would, you would think. You would think, but then they end up somewhere like in like a, a neighborhood, not so safe neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And, um, okay, so she basically like, he's like, what did, What am I doing here or whatever? And then she starts talking about like her life and how, like, this is like the home that she, one of the homes, many homes It was that she probably one of the most moving scenes in the whole show ever. Right. Where she's like, um, I just wanted to show you, like, this is one of the houses. She spent, I think, eight months there. I think she said a foster home. Yeah, yeah, foster home, And right. um, where, like, the foster parent would buy, like, or was it eight kids? I don't know, but a Something lot of kids. eight. And one can of soup <laughs> oh the family gosh, would I give know. them. And the rest of the money that they would get from the government for fostering kids, they would buy scratcher tickets. Oh, a lot of scratcher yeah. tickets, and they never won. Speaking of the lottery, mm -hmm. Deja... Uh, has like a come to Jesus moment with Randall. It's like you won the lottery, you know, mm -hmm. two times, two times. Um, but most importantly, when you got Beth, mm -hmm. right? So she like basically says like you need to get it together because yeah. you guys are good. Now it's interesting because what is she like a teenager or something? She's barely wasn't she like eighth or ninth grade? Yeah. They were trying to pass her straight to ninth, so she's almost oh, like yeah. eight. She's very observant mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. a young end. She's so smart yeah and she's like most people don't even win the lottery one time you won when the fireman dropped you off and you got adopted and then two when you met that so like make it work two figure times. it out and all i was thinking was like oh my god because the fate of beth and randall you mm -hmm. know we don't know yeah and all i'm thinking is like okay at this point i was like oh i just felt like they're not gonna make it I like know. the way their the story was going i agree i was like they're not gonna make I it know. right so anyway um <laughs> randall then he, okay, when you remember when he was talking to Jaywon and he was, like, asking... Like, just, like, for example, if I decided to resign, what would happen? <laughs> yeah, just, like, <laughs> like hypothetically. Just imagine, like, just throwing it out there Which, as a possibility. Jaywon's freaking out. He's like, like wait, 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 what? what? Yeah, he's, like... <laughs> After all that? Yeah, exactly. Let's say I wanted to... He painted a scary picture, though. Like, I couldn't see Randall making that choice. Like, the people would have to pay for a special election. Yeah. I, which I don't think I would have thought about all that. And so, I, I don't know. Like, that's kind of a lot to yeah. just throw away. Right, but it was cool that he was even thinking mm -hmm. about it, again, probably to save mm -hmm. their marriage, yes. you know? Mm -hmm. So, while he's doing that, Beth's over there talking with a real estate agent mm -hmm. in Philadelphia. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. So, I don't know why I didn't pick up on this, but I was like, oh, like, a house? Like, she's gonna, they're going to move I to Philadelphia? Thought, yeah, something like that, too. I, I was just like, well, she's definitely considering moving. So they both have some some good ideas, some good impulses to try to save the marriage here. Right. 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 right? That's what like, you see, right? I was like, okay, good. Yeah, Maybe. So we'll see. But I don't know. It didn't really... Like, didn't feel... I didn't think that Randall was going to do that. No. Thing, though. Or, like, take it... That just seems like a lot. I don't know. I know. It was I wasn't very hopeful. Confusing. Even with all that, I wasn't hopeful. We were I was very just like, pessimistic. I was just like, okay, well, they're 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 trying, but I don't know. Let's see what happens. Let's see what, Let's happens. See what happens. Exactly. <laughs> well, it, but it does turn out that she was actually trying to find a dance yeah. studio mm -hmm. in Philadelphia because she wants to own her own studio. Yeah. Because that nasty lady... It was asking her to cover this class on Sunday. She's mm -hmm. like, said something very nasty. Like, it'll be easy. It's just like for women that don't know how to dance, don't have any rhythm. Yeah, and kind like, of like condescending, kind of like, um, like 
kind of echoing that same comment that Randall had made about teaching housewives how to twirl. Yeah. And that's not how Beth envisioned what she's doing with her life here. So I think that kind of stimulated it. That pushed it. Yeah. But I like, well, so I was still even not sure when they both got home. Oh, and yeah. And they went to go talk together. And they had both done like a, they had both thought about it and came up with these plans. But I didn't think that they were actually going to tell each other. Yeah. I kind of thought they were still mad at each other. And yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. It's, but. So yeah, they they talk and you're still like, like what's Dory what, gonna do? What's gonna happen though? Yeah, right. So then they uh, let's go back to um, Kevin. Oh, <laughs> because you know, yes. Let's wait on that because yes. that's a big deal. So Kevin and Zoe yes. talk mm -hmm. because he's like, "Gosh, you look so cute with kids. You sure about that? You're not gonna change your mind?" And then she's like, "You want kids, don't you?" Yeah. Basically, mm -hmm. she's like. It's okay. Like, it's yeah. fine. Don't worry about it. So he's kind of like, I mean, yeah, I guess maybe, yeah. maybe I do. So then they, they break. They, they break, break up. up. They break up. Okay, I'm sorry, but I'm a little bit happy about it because I am team Kevin and Sophie, which they'll probably never get back together again. But I didn't really feel it. I wasn't feeling that relationship. Yeah. I love Zoe. Yeah. I love Kevin. Mm -hmm. But I don't love them together. Well, especially if they don't want the same things. Even before that. <laughs> Maybe I'm jealous. I don't know. Um, anyway, so then um, let's go back to Baby Jack. Oh, Baby Jack. Back to Jack. Mm -hmm. So Baby Jack finally gets to come home. Yeah. And that's sweet. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Rebecca and Miguel are going to, they, they're they right. They're moving to be closer to the baby. Well, isn't Kate kind of like, I'm not sure if I want this after all. That's what it seemed like. Yeah. And, yeah. and uh, Rebecca wants to move, like, down the street. And then <laughs> oh, Kate's like, what about Santa Monica? <laughs> Do you know how long it would take them to come over to babysit, Kate? You need to calm down. Like, I don't know, but you I just wanted there, to so. be. I just wanted to be like, as a parent, you want the parent, you want grandma close by. Trust me. I was like, don't put them in Santa Monica. You're crazy. Right. Exactly. As annoying as you think that whole like, you know, overbearingness is. Yeah, but then she did admit to Rebecca, like, hey, like, I'm never gonna be as good a yeah, mom as you. That was such a sweet moment. Yeah, good for you. I like Kate. that moment. Put your ego down and just, yeah. She came to but her senses. It was sweet, yeah. So yeah. she was like, I, I want to be like you, basically. Yeah. And Rebecca's all humble about it. It was really sweet. Yeah. But anyway. All right. So now can we please get to the, like, flash forward? Yes. Because this was huge. This is what they did last season on the finale. Mm -hmm. They leave you with, like, what's going to happen? All these things. Yeah, exactly. So, okay. So older Randall is, uh, he's coming to the house. Whose house is it? His house. Wait, right? Yes. To see her. Her, right. Taking Wait, tests but what to does see it mean? her. Right. So there's older Tess, older Randall. They like come the there. Kevin's house. Kevin's house. Kevin's house. Sure. Kevin's fancy house. Of course it's it is. It's a very fancy house. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so then there's Beth. And you're mm -hmm. like, what's going to happen? And yeah. then he's like, hey, babe. And then they kiss. And you're like, oh, sweet Thank Lord. And then you together. see the ring. They're okay, guys. Oh, they goodness. made it. Everything is okay with Beth and Randall. Well, the part where they told each other the ideas that they had, though, was also one of the sweetest moments because he was like, yeah, I'm going to resign. She's like, no, we're moving to Philadelphia. And then they have that line where she said something like, apart, we're this, but together we light the world on fire. Oh! That was so cute. Yeah. So good thing they stayed together. Thank goodness. Yeah, exactly. I it know. It tricked us good. It sure did. Tricked us so good. It got us there. Yeah. Um. So then Toby comes over. Mm-hmm. Totally. Alone. Yeah. And then he says, like, uh, like hmm. Kate and Jack are coming. Right, but why didn't they come together? Exactly. Yeah. Why didn't they come together? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And then there's, like, a kid running around, and uh, yeah. this kid happens to be Kevin's son. He's very white. He's a very white boy. He's a white, he's a white kid. So Kevin had a baby. Or, Most or likely maybe not, adopted. Not, I don't know. Probably not with Zoe unless they adopted right. someone who looks just like Kevin. Yeah, he did look a lot <laughs> like did. Kevin. That actor like looked a lot like younger Kevin actor. Yes. Yeah, right? Didn't they? It could be the actor who plays younger Kevin's younger brother. Right, exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was really totally. funny. Yeah. So, okay, we see what's going on there mm -hmm. with these people. And then, oh, very emotional scene. Oh my gosh. He's going to visit her. And we find mm -hmm. out that her is Rebecca. And she's older, and she's laying in bed, and she's obviously very sick and frail, mm -hmm. and Mandy Moore still looks beautiful, she even does. in that old state, oh my mm -hmm. gosh. Um, so yeah, he, well, so she's visiting her, and he's mm -hmm. like, hey mom, it's me, like your oldest, or your son, or whatever. He's like, it's Randall, your son. But I'm like, wait, does she, she have dementia? Has, I think so, from the car crash. Brain damage. 
Mind blown. And all the notes that she was taking to remember. Oh, you I, are a genius. I was like, later, I was just like, okay, brain damage comment from the very second Randall saw her. Noticed it first when he's a little kid. And then all those notes she was taking. Kate thought it was overbearing, but she was actually trying to remember. That's Dr. S. That's oh why her name gosh. is Dr. S. And then somebody told um, Randall, like, oh, he's already in there. So we thought, like, maybe Miguel, but who was in there? It was Nikki. Nikki. It was so their uncle Nikki. How'd he get back into their lives? All these things we want to know now. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Mm-hmm. Just when I thought This Is Us was slowing <laughs> down, it just picked right back up we again. We were kind of thinking there was a little bit of a... Not a sophomore, but a junior year slump. Yeah. We're ready yeah. for the senior year. Thanks for making us excited about season four, guys, because we really are. So, But yeah. that is where they left us, of course. So we uh, will see what happens. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know we did. And uh, thank you so much for watching. See you later, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye.